Even in the midst of a pandemic, you were there, working behind the scenes, to ensure the good work of the Campbell Foundation continued. Because of you, patients in Guatemala received needed care during our medical mission trip. Because of you, patients with rare conditions, like Jacob, find hope for a better future. Because of you, friends of the Foundation, like Jerry, are inspired to leave a legacy by naming us in their estate plan. And because of you, the homeless served at the Union Mission will again receive foot care during our Souls for Souls event the week of Thanksgiving. Because of you, children with CP smile. Cerebral palsy is a, a spectrum of diseases. It can be a very mild condition where the uh, child uh, has a very minimal impairment to a very severe condition where the child has significant impairments as far as sitting uh, and uh, walking and even problems with uh, eating and feeding themselves. And that's where we come in trying to help the child reach their potential uh, as they continue to grow. Prior to this clinic, there were not any comprehensive clinics in the city of Memphis that take care of patients with CP. These patients had to go to multiple appointments, seeing the different specialists. Having it all in one place, we're able to all talk about their plan together and come upon an agreement for their plan with the patient and family present. So I think what makes this clinic different is just the way we interact, uh, the way that we all uniquely care for these children and use our talents and gifts to, to really improve their lives. Uh, with this clinic, we have uh, orthopedic surgeons, we have nurse practitioners, social workers, we really have a full complement of people that come around these children to really address their needs. We have all three major rehab disciplines represented. There's physical therapy, occupational therapy, and speech therapy. A few uh, Laboner resources that we have is MCHILD, which is the legal services to help families, the utility assistance, 10 care Medicare assistance, food stamp assistance, and also the FedEx Family House. And so it's really beneficial to have everyone together on the same team because one thing obviously impacts the other. And so when we're all focused on the child as a whole being, they can be the most functional. From the first time we came, we were shocked to have a whole team at our service. Um, when we got to the clinic, got into our room, it wasn't one doctor, it wasn't one person we were seeing, we had a whole team, which is really nice to know that there is a whole group of people advocating for your child. Um, my child came and she's kind of nervous about everything, but the team made her feel real comfortable. Um, they helped her with everything uh, for our surgeries, procedures, everything went real great. Every day, that were doing things that we were told he would never be able to do is, is just, you know, it's a blessing. Um, if I didn't have everything here at the CP clinic, I think it would be kind of hard for me to get everything that I needed. But as far as we've been seeing the CP clinic, I have had everything that I needed. We have made incredible friends and basically family with our therapy team. And without weekly therapy that Miriam gets, we have, would not have excelled to where she is now from going from not being able to sit up straight, not being able to stand, not being able to walk, to two and a half years later, we're accomplishing all of these milestones that we thought we'd never see. When we first came to the clinic, William had severe hip dysplasia. This is the first place that we actually gave us hope that he would walk on his own.
day-to-day -day life, like what were the challenges for you? Like in I mean, day -day the main life? thing would be the walking and keeping up with my friends at school. As he was getting into his teenage years, he, he grew uh, quickly and his muscles got tight and that caused him a lot of problems uh, with walking. We did what's called the tendon release, which is where uh, you try physical therapy and things like that first, and eventually, if you get too tight, we go in there surgically and make those tendons longer. Uh, those, those surgeries work well, but again, with growth, sometimes uh, the tightness will come back, and that's what happened for him. The second surgery, uh, when he was older, uh, we did something a little different. Instead of uh, releasing the tendons or giving him more flexibility through the tendons, we actually changed the shape of his bones. Uh, the upside of that or the benefit of that surgery is that it's not altered by growth. So once we do it, uh, the surgery tends to be more permanent. The harder thing about that surgery is that the rehab, as you know, is much harder and much more extensive. Uh, and so, yeah, that's true. Uh, the rehab. And he had never stood with weight on his heels before, is that correct? Yep. Yeah. So the first day oh gosh. was pretty difficult. Pain. Yeah. And pa was it, it was painful too, wasn't yes, it? Yes, it was painful. Yeah. Because just even standing in the parallel bars uh, for what, maybe a few seconds yeah. was challenging. Yep. And uh, he had never done that where his legs were straight. make a sandwich, carry the tray, and sit down and eat. So thinking about what do, you, what do you need to do to be able to function independently without somebody having to help you. It really takes teamwork and you have to have all the components of a team to have a good outcome and uh, you're certainly a living example of that, all the hard work you and your family put into this for sure. My name is Yoji Holmes and Candles of Clinic has changed my life. On behalf of the Campbell Foundation staff, thank you for your dedication to our mission and for ensuring quality of life to patients here in Memphis and across the globe.